Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. In last video, we have talked about writing the uh, finding the locators and uh, how to perform actions on that. So using that, we have written our first automation script using the playwright. So now when you are writing the script and we have performed some actions, for example, you have selected something from drop down or uh, clicked on the one of the radio button or type something. So how to make sure like whatever you have type is uh, actually selected or not. So for that, uh, what we do is like we can assert that like uh, whatever I have selected is coming or not. So here or somewhere else like uh, I have selected mail here and after sign up. So when I see my detail information there, it should select gender. So what we, I need to do is I need to go there, click on expect and I need to verify like uh, it is same text. So playwright provides a lot of assertions. So in this video, what we are going to talk is about uh, how, what are the assertion playwright provides, how to do it with the code, I will show it and uh, uh, what are the auto weights. So playwright is known for auto weights as well. So we will talk about that as well. So please watch this video till the end so that you get uh, more ideas on that. So let's start. So playwright includes this assertion in the form of expect function. So we can use this expect function and provide the value and verify like it is equal to something or not. It is containing some text or not. It is truthy or falsy. So those conditions we can check. So for example, here example is given expect success to be truthy. The same way like we can use await as well. So in await like expect page dot get by test ID status to have text submitted. So we can wait like uh, until this status got submitted. So playwright keeps on checking the status and when the text have submitted then only it go ahead otherwise it will go timeout. So by default this timeout is 5 seconds but uh, we can uh, configure this in test config dot expect. So this is the uh, basics of assertion. So now list of the assertion it provides. So there are so many assertion it provides by default. So why assertion is more important because when you use proper assertion you can find more bugs using the automation. So that is our main goal. So here like uh, I will I don't go through all this but most of the importance are like to be checked. So if checkbox is checked or not. So in last step we have used this. Uh, we can say like if a uh, text box is editable or not. Those kind is very important and uh, is uh, any uh, element is focused or not. So we can type there if it is not focused, we can focus on that and then type on that and uh, contain text. So this is more important. Like if some uh, something is happened, like uh, we got the message after login, like login successfully. So those messages we need to verify. So it contain text and to have text. So if we want to match exact uh, text, then we can use to have text. If we want to match partial text, then we can use partial text. So those who are very new to expect for assertion, what we do is like we can expect we provide locator. So locator we learned in the last one. So we provide this locator and put like if for a login and to contain text is sign up button. So we have done something like that, like uh, this page have title Facebook or not. And uh, uh, this sign up is visible or not so get by text we using the sign up until this sign up is visible it will wait so this is how we can use the expect and uh, to have screenshot this uh, this is a special ability of playwright like you can compare the screenshot as well so if you have to in web page you have something graphs or some images that you want to uh, compare every time you can use this one. We will, I will create one more video on that how to compare screenshot in the playwright. And apart from that, uh, like uh, you can have title that we have already used. And this one, expect API response to be okay. That means like if you are writing automation script of API, then you can verify like it if uh, uh, the response what we are getting is okay or not, 200 or not. So those uh, matches you can use. Apart from this, like you can divide this uh, assertion in different parts. So if we give, uh, here uh, we have that, you can use not to be okay as well. Like uh, negation, if you want to use, you can put like not or to be okay. So those kind of things uh, you can do with this API request. Now let's uh, go through our code and uh, check this. So here, like uh, I have declared test zero and uh, I can let's uh, do this one only like neg negative matters so 
what I am doing to do this uh, is like uh, this is not equal to 0. So I have defined as 0 test. Now I am checking like it should not be equal to 0. So I am using aspect and uh, this should be failed. So I am just running this. So I am uh, let's run this. So I am running uh, using uh, UI mode so that we can come to know like wh where it get failed. So now it is running. So I am running this sign of one only that we have created in last video. So see here it got failed and sc uh, script got stopped. So what is it telling is like uh, this is expected not to zero but we have zero. So that's why it failed. So if I put some non-zero numbers then it should not fail. So I, I have saved that so it will rerun again and see that get passed and you can get the green one. So this is how you can use the expert so for very beginner level. So now uh, other by default uh, this assertion will be uh, hard assertion like when is something is uh, fail it got failed but uh, if, what if you don't want to fail the whole test case and you want to run all. So for example your use case is like uh, you need to validate that page as 100 uh, URLs and you are checking one by one and uh, one of the URL is not finding but still you want to check other URLs as well. So what you can do is you can you put soft assertion. So whatever is not uh, finding it will report that but it will test all that. So if uh, you have used hard assertion then what happen like if second URL is not found then it will fail there itself and it won't check 98 others. But here what happens like if you use soft assertion so it will execute other cells. So let's see like uh, so what we need to do is like we expect dot soft we need to use. So here like uh, we can put expect dot soft and uh, here I am keeping this value 0 again. So now this will fail again. So if you see this is failed but it has run other cells as well. So you can see like it has run other elements but it has reported like it is failing here. So this is the kind of use case for soft assets and I talk like for links or some other things you want to verify multiple things. So that time you can use soft assertion. So apart from them you can have custom expect message as well. So here it would fail to use it, uh, uh, this message we are getting but what I want to give is like a set message like a uh, uh, test is zero something like that custom message I want to give and now I am saying so it will run again. So it failed but it has given me the message test is zero. So this is very important it looks uh, very little but this is good practice to put always message. So whenever you get the report so in that report it get it printed like what exactly got failed and your words. So that way you can get more uh, information about the failures. Now if what we can do is we can configure this expect like uh, we can uh, put the timeout like when it should get uh, timeout. So by default uh, it has some uh, like uh, 5 seconds we have talked. So we can put the configure timeout 1000 seconds and given them name slow expect. So sometimes where you want to wait more you can use this slow expect. So this way you can configure the timeout with the expect and uh, you can use that. Also you can like every time you want to do soft expect and uh, you don't want to write expect dot soft every time. So you can configure like this way soft expect and uh, expect dot configure soft true and it will it always do soft expect. So this is way one of the way uh, we can put the timeout. So this timeout functionality is very important. So that way what you can do you can have fast expect slow expect 4 5 expect you can configure based on the different timeout and use that in the script so that you can have a uh, more optimized script and uh, the, after that we can use the poll so this poll will come to, uh, into picture when you are doing the api automation so what you can do that uh, uh, it will uh, when we get the 200 it will wait still the status will come 200 and you can put the message and timeout and uh, you can verify like it is should be 200. You can also specify custom polling intervals like uh, at how many time you it should fall. So uh, it will fall one time, two times, 10, 10 seconds. So 
you can provide the interval so uh, it will time out after 60 seconds so it will try three times and expect dot to pass you can also retry blocks of code until they get passed successfully so it will suggest if you have written other automation as well we can do this like uh, so if you are hitting some url and you are not getting titles for example here we are asking, uh, using it facebook.com until we get the title i want to keep retrying so that i can do like your network is slow in case so you can use that so some code uh, we want to make sure like it is uh, executing like your web page is there so what you can do is you can put the retries there and it keeps on retry so the, for uh, like uh, this one api it will be very useful so in api what you can do is uh, you can uh, request some url and keep on wait to be 200 like you can try it two times three times four times until they get passed so this is how you can use the expector to pass so these are the assertions higher level so you can go practice more and uh, try out the different uh, useful like when you are using in real world like in office or in company's project what you see like you don't use everything like you use only the standard word like if you have text or not if you have this exact value or not it is enabled or not visible or hidden it's, it is very commonly used so those kind of uh, assertions are mostly used and soft assertion i told like when uh, you have requirement where you need to verify multiple things then you can put the soft assertion so that even though one of the fail it will verify others as well and give you the report and so now other thing is auto wait so auto wait is very a uh, unique functionality provided by uh, playwright to get the more stability so like when you are uh, clicking on something so what uh, in if you have watched my puppeteer videos we got this issue many times like when i want to click on the buttons button is not ready and it clicks or uh, puppeteer dot is click is very failing very uh, so many times but here like you know because of auto uh, auto waiting a playwright gives a security like when uh, this button is uh, like updated to dome it is visible stable on the screen and we, it is unable and uh, is it ready to uh, receive the events then only it clicks on that so by that way uh, it will uh, till that it will auto wait so different actions have different auto ways so for example if uh, you want to check the check, checkbox then it verify like it is in dom or not visible or not stable or not receive event or not enabled or not and then only put the checkbox so that much time it will keep on waiting you can customize this automate uh, as well so if you see the focus so it won't wait for us everything for focus is just wait like it is there or not and uh, so for different kind of things it has different uh, 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 ways you can verify from here like for hover it will verify like it is attached visible stable and receive events it is unable or not unable it doesn't matter it will hover on that so this is how you can uh, uh, know like how it auto waits so what is the benefit of uh, this auto waits the benefit is like it always makes your like it is uh, stable enough and you are able to click or you are able to write in the locator or you are able to use that locator so that way what happens is like uh, you don't have to manually put weights and manually put like until it is visible or something or sometimes we have to put that uh, uh, static weights to get it stable those kind of things we don't have to do so these are the assertions that directly use like page is checked page is disabled element dot handle is checked disabled these things are like locator is hidden locator is visible these are the assertions you can use let's go to like locator is checked or not so it verified like await dot page by checkbox is checked or not so it will automatically a wait till the checkbox get enabled and then it will get the their input so this is more kind of documentation i'm not going deep this is all about practicing so when in future we'll write more script we will use this kind of things and uh, uh, i will give more information how it is actually get used still if you have any doubts or you are stuck somewhere feel free to ask in the comment section don't forget to subscribe this channel and share it to your your career friend also uh, support us in social media uh, we will have software testing memes there and more fun there so uh, please follow on social media and you will get the links in the description so thank you